watching the Pix News at 10. And window undressing, the holiday window display that's turning plenty of heads and dropping a few jaws, too. Plus, window undressing, the holiday window display that will cause you to look twice. I'm Marvin Scott on Fifth Avenue with a story of an unusual window display. It's not the window dressing, but undressing that's getting all the attention. I'll explain when we come back. Welcome back. Well, this time of year, people enjoy looking at store windows that have been decorated for the holidays. And some people are enjoying a window in Midtown for a whole different reason. Marvin Scott is live in Midtown with more. Marvin, what's going on out there? Well, Jackie, as you well know, it's a long-time Christmas tradition to decorate storefront windows here on Fifth Avenue with those lavish, glittering holiday displays like the one right behind me at Lord & Taylor. But this year, it's the display on this side of the street, in this window, in a vacant storefront that is getting all of the attention and stirring a little bit of controversy as well. It's not the window dressing that's doing it but you might say it's the window undressing that's attracting the crowds. It's not a winter wonderland, but a winter wonder, what's going on here? Two shapely models on a window set replicating a young woman's apartment, hanging out, trying on clothes, at times stripping to their sexy underwear. There's no sexual or lewd behavior, just a couple of girls in risque lingerie. The models are called living mannequins by the woman who created the window theater for the XOXO clothing line. It's geared to the XOXO woman. It's got a slight boyfriend friend tilt, you might say. Um, the boyfriends all seem to like it a great deal. Um, it's the brand that every boyfriend would want his girlfriend wearing. The male crowd seems very, very supportive of this campaign. One pedestrian took exception to the living display and alerted police who chose not to interfere. There is no Santa, no tree, no Christmas setting, but a different kind of window on Fifth Avenue this year. A voyeuristic fantasy no one seems to mind. I think it's a nice concept to see something live instead of seeing fake things in the window. Fine if my kids don't see it. Oh, that's pretty neat. You know, we're from Mississippi, so we don't see that a lot down there. It's interesting. <laughs> you see everything in New York, right? <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> only in New York, my friends, only in New York. Well, the window is quiet now. The models called it quits at 9 o'clock. But rest assured, they'll be back here tomorrow. And the creators of this whole display say they will be here every day right up until next Sunday. And uh, if you don't want to see models in a window in sexy lingerie, well, You'll always go across the street to see a more wintry Christmas scene at Lord & Taylor. We're live tonight on Fifth Avenue. Marvin Scott, Pix News at 10. Jackie, Peter, back to you. you got to come out here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think Thank the sexy you, models are going to win out there. That's something. Yeah. I like you know, the guy from Mississippi. Yes, yeah, so they don't get much of that in Mississippi, I, I would imagine. <laughs> They're going to need crowd control out there. They're going to be there all week. Whew, some skimpy guitar, Are you huh? okay? So, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, <laughs> that's an interesting story there, huh? What are they selling, by the way? I I think I know. I think I know. <laughs> Gwen says, does it matter? Apparently not. Black Friday is now a memory. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn, in the peanut gallery. It was a long day for many of the workers who made it happen, though.